hi welcome guys uh, welcome to stream so we are looking our uh, iot yet solution where we are integrating all the components and modules and we are going through the visual studio documentation and see how the different modules can communicate between each other so we are uh, pretty much like uh, exploring iot edge completely including uh, including doing our custom modules creating the dashboard so we are doing like a real time iot edge project to uh, to improve our learning and to get like a better understanding on how iot edge modules work so this is our 11th episode i think yeah and we are pretty much like successful on uh, integrating the custom modules into the iot edge so if anyone looking into this video new so this is what we are working on so we have developed the iot edge solution which is based on node.js javascript and uh, we have added like multiple modules here including temperature sensor module this is going to simulate the temperature sensors that is from actual device right so we are going to simulate that and uh, uh, sending the random data every three seconds check the audio sound every three seconds and uh, this data will be sending to filter sensor data in the filter sensor data we have implemented our custom business logic to filter the uh, sensor data so it would not be sending like all sensor data to the iot hub it's just like sending only the uh, specific sensor data or like uh, if it is greater than or below than the threshold then only it's sending the data to the iot hub so we are not like uh, uh, bombarding with i would bombarding iot hub with uh, all the data we are just like uh, interested we are sending the data which is uh, only interested in uh, the iot hub is interested in otherwise everything is going to manage in the iot edge device itself right so that one we have added and we have added the dashboard module so this dashboard module let me run that so this dashboard module is nothing but uh, a react application that's going to run on raspberry pi monitor so in in this monitor we are going to display all the sensor data that is coming from the temperature sensor uh, module so this is mostly like a widget for uh, the on device widget for displaying the sensor data so don't getting don't get like uh, um, confused with this dashboard with the server dashboard still you can log in with the server dashboard and see the sensor data across the devices you can go through the each devices but this dashboard probably i need to rename this for uh, kiosk or something like that so this dashboard application is uh, um, for this device only so we are we have developed the dashboard module also one of the iot edge modules so that the temperature sensor module can be integrated with the uh, dashboard module so that's how uh, uh, we started implementing this So now, okay. So now the IoT Edge solution is running. If you want to know how that looks like, it's running on 3001 port. So this is the React application um, that's running as one of the IoT Edge model. So you can see the sensor is sending like a data every three seconds and this board classification uh, display or the dashboard application that's like a changing the sensor data so we have implemented through websocket connection there so this is how <coughs> so this is how the dashboard works okay let me stop this one and last week what we started doing is we started uh, integrating the custom mission a module into this uh, iot edge solution right uh, let me switch my scene so that you can see the code what i'm talking about so last week we have implemented this uh, camera module and uh, we pulled this custom mission a edge module as well 
So the camera module is going to keep on sending the simulated images. Right now we are using this test image that is a sailboat here. So it's going to every five seconds it's going to send the data. It's going to call the boat classifier and get the prediction result. And that result is sending to either dashboard or the IoT Hub. So this is what we are trying to do. But uh, uh, last Monday we had some issues on uh, calling boat classifier uh, container uh, REST API from the camera module. So we got stuck there. And uh, in offline, I tried a couple of options. So those are the things we are going to look at today. In the meanwhile, I just removed that uh, sending the message to IoT Hub so that I am uh, I am like at least uh, preventing that. Uh, or I can just one second. So I will just copy this filter sensor data to IoT Hub here. And in the and in the filter sensor data logic i am going to comment this one so that it would not send message to iot hub and we are not uh, uh, wasting our iot hub uh, messages per unit count right okay so let it be now let's see what are the why it's not communicating why we cannot like access board classifier app server that is running through the python running on the port 80 why we cannot access through so that's what we are going to look at today um, so couple of options i have tried is i see somewhere the board classifier it was like this before so the docker container name is still board classifier only right like a case sensitive board classifier but when we are calling the container API like a HTTP board classifier slash image at the time it's changing that to the lower case so that's why we got like connection refuse that's what I have read so what I'm going to try is changing this one to smaller case and in camera module app.js I'm changing this to smaller case just to confirm like why that's not working and also i have added follow all redirects true uh, because i got some error like 301 mood permanently so that's why i i'm trying these two option i didn't test that out so let's uh, test that today building run iot solution deployment dot template dot json json so um, it's building let's wait once this is done i think we are good what are the other thing we need to explore we need to explore like a how to how to add the application insights and uh, uh, adding like a, some sqlite model to uh, store some of the configuration something like that we don't need to store anything specifically unless we are storing that one for like offline for example like uh, if you are doing some form entry kind of things because the configuration everything it's already stored in the device twin itself right so if you want to change any properties you are just changing that in the iot hub and that's immediately reflecting in the device twin so that should not be the issue or that should not be the case to use storing uh, uh, the SQL Server data or uh, SQLite data. Maybe like if we are storing some offline capabilities, then at the time it might be needed. Okay, so the camera module, uh, it's logging too much data. Okay. Hey, I think it's work. The error sends null, right? So the response, it should be response to JSON if it's coming as json um, so let me stop this song and run it
then we can like use this one this url to inject from the docker container setting and also we need to make sure this one is running on the real hardware device uh, but i'm just like trying to understand the concept of iot edge only i'm not like a really interested on integrating with the hardware sensor if it's really so uh, let's see okay so now ah uh, uh, it says 404 found but the board classifier that send the data right why it's 404 found but the board classifier also getting the data i think that's cool oh i added this uh, additional character let's see now okay so the dashboard server is running i'm eagerly waiting to see how that looks like um creating key okay okay the board classifier your cpu supports instruction that is tensor flow binary was not compiled to use okay i think this one is a warning yeah and i got the result back from the boot classification that was amazing so the problem is in the deployment.template.json so this this is like little really confusing right so whenever i am trying to create a model where azure iot hub create module oh, not this one sorry azure iot edge add iot edge module and if i am choosing the node.js module it's giving like sample module like this and it's accepting the module so the one thing like make sure whenever you are trying to call through the container name you are naming this container as a lower case then in that case i just like follow the same uh, pattern like this always whenever i am adding the iot edge module at least the node.js module right i think this is the problem with all the docker container so just make sure like uh, whenever you are creating the docker container or the module in the iot edge solution this one is creating a uh, smaller case because if you want to call the http name with a container name this won't work this is like a the docker container name is case sensitive and the http is converting the uh, url to lower case always so i think i should change clean up this one i'm just thinking about that okay so this one i changed to board classifier or i will leave that and uh, change the name alone here i don't know what to do what are the places we have board classifier and uh, like this right so we have launched our json and uh, 
a couple of places so let me replace this one with the boat classifier like this it should work right okay let me do that so i'm replacing this one let's stop this also and re renaming this uh, module name as well and the camera module i just going to name that's camera and change all camera module oh this won't work why this is error invalid image placeholder come on that's crazy so we need like this uh i got what does that mean system module modules board classic is it right ah crazy thing board classifier so let me look board classifier here i am going to rename this one to board classifier just some naming changes here and camera module i am going to replace this one with the camera only and dashboard dashboard temperature sensor this one i rename to sensor replacing this one with the sensor and filter sensor data this one uh, i would name this as a filter sensor because this casing thing my docker container that's running on that i would the edge that's not uh, understanding what's really going on right okay so let me replace this one filter sensor replacing it. okay i think this looks like a cool at least it's following the naming pattern which i am following for uh, the node js stuff right okay so here uh, so the problem is in the deployment dot template dot json make sure the container name is uh, all in like a smaller case so that a uh, uh, lower case so that like it would not be messed up when you are trying to connect between the containers okay now let me try to build and run okay let it be running in the meanwhile in the meantime or i can stop all these images because it's going to add too many images right okay let me do this stop this one docker remove containers and images i need to create an alias for this so that i would not be going and see every time mostly i am going for like copying the con commands 
okay i'm just cleaning up my local images and containers so that like uh, because we rename the change it's going to create the new container so i'm making sure i'm deleting the existing containers in my uh, machine Ah, I got too many things. Okay, so that's done. Now I am going to Visual Studio Code again to build the Docker container. Module dot JSON dashboard camera code classic. Okay. Sensor to filter sensor, sensor to dashboard, filter sensor to IoT score. Why it's still the temperature sensor? Mm -hmm. Sensor. Okay. So let me run this one again. Build and run IoT edge solution in simulator deployment dot. So it's building and it's asking my password to run the Docker container, right? So it's stopping all the module. Let's see. So once this is run, then uh, we are good. Now what we need to do is in the camera module, whenever it's uh, detecting what type of boat it is, then it needs to send the message to uh, dashboard and also the IoT hub. So let's set up the route there. And also we have only one test image. Uh, we will look for the option where we can like uh, mount the directory from uh, our local machine and pick up the random image and uh, 
see how that's working so we will we will be seeing that one in short um so it started running so let me go to the dashboard here refreshing this page and make sure this one is working and also i will see whether uh, sensor data is coming okay great so now every three seconds the sensor data is sending data to dashboard and the dashboard is displaying the sensor data okay now the camera module the camera module has uh, the body type that's having this uh, prediction result so you can see here uh, the prediction result is coming as uh, how to read this one tag name sale and probability is 81 percentage so this one is having the highest percentage so the test image what we have sent here that is the sale boat right so this is what happening right now now what i am going to do is let me stop this one close all open editor files okay so the next thing i'm going to do is um camera dashboard filter sensor now everything like we are trying from the simulated value before that let me do the important thing before making too much changes let me commit this rename module names to make docker container network works okay great so um, let me push that as well okay now the next thing what we need to do is we properly parse the response json data here and uh, send that to the iot hub right so right now we have only the test image the test image here now let's see how we can how we can mount the uh, either we need to mount or uh, get some random vote image right so how to do that random vote image let me see if i have any if i have any service so that i can directly call that service i'm just i'm just like looking otherwise we have like a tons of images we have downloaded from kegel so we just like mount the directory and that directory will uh, pick up it will pick up from the directory and send that image okay so let it be like this one i'm going to clean up this code a little bit because this looks messy and function classify image we are calling this request data okay so this one is fine now response dot body request i usually used request promise only but uh, when i am testing this one i just changed to request okay so json json true yeah this is what i am looking into that even this one i just put like options and uh, where options is like this um does it make sense here yeah and options like this so it would be a little bit neat uh, Okay, 
so it should be closing here right now what we need to do is console.log rest dot uh, body it should be returning the data as json i think okay so let it be now we need to look like how to mount the directory in our iot edge solutions so everything it's in the deployment dot template dot json so um, here in the camera create option we need to mount our directory so i don't know how to mount directory here so this one we need to take a look at that so let me go to docker create options uh, mount to volume <laughs> i i know i can use that uh, the flag but they are using it in the different way i think it's a docker json i think it's using docker rest api uh, create json engine api so there so this docker deployment dot template dot json iot edge hub device that uh, cli tool it's going to take like it's going to parse this uh, uh, json and uh, going through this custom modules and get the data and passing this data into the docker engine api so that you can see whenever you are uh, uh, building all your docker images and starting the device with like a iot edge hub device start and passing the deployment dot template dot json so it's going to read all these uh, template files and uh, passing that one and sending to docker engine api so that it would be creating the container and make sure all the container is running and they have like a different status and restart policies so the edge hub device cli tool that's taking care of uh, uh, maintaining those containers so that's what happening right now that's why like you can see instead of like uh, passing all into it into the cli tool you are just uh, setting up this uh, deployment.template.json so you are uh, whenever you are creating the deployment from the azure iot hub portal you are using the deployment uh, from the uh, from the portal itself right so that's what uh, we are going to do now let's see um so this one we need to look for the create options right so the engine api version 1.39 reference let me go through this one okay so here containers and the container should be create a container so they have the different option including expose port so this what we are uh, uh, added here so this what we are adding here right so the create option exposed ports and all now what we need to do is volumes so how we need to provide the volumes okay this is volumes from right the object mapping mount point paths inside the container to empty objects what's that container create volumes so it should be the amount would be like this right okay you can mount the previously created volume to the container using the host config in the create request why in the host config is it in the host config mounts yeah in the host config only and they are using mounts instead of volumes but here it says like volumes only right we usually do the volumes oh they have the mounts as well um okay so let let me try this so target path in the container source i need either i need the volume or uh, okay error container docker volume create creates a new volume that containers 
docker create volume from existing directory yeah i need something like this right okay let's do that so here uh, it should be added in the camera right so here we are adding host config and that host config contains uh, volume or uh, mounts uh, what we have seen I'm looking for some example here. Okay, so where we have seen there. Docker container mounts. Yeah, I can. I know how to add that from the command line, but I'm just like looking how we can do that from the engine API here. So let me look for like mounts itself. So in the mounts, okay, so here it is. So mounts here let me copy that one so mounts here and type is bind and source it's copying from temp here so let me put that also i don't know how we can put the pwd present working directory so that it's just like okay i can put like a data and destination is let me put like a app slash data or there also i put like a data only read write true or i can put like a read only true mode propagation oh. okay let me try this one is working Bef okay before that i need to create a data file here data folder here new folder data so i'm going to copy the test image there let me run this one so if this is mounted if this is mounted into the docker container then we can add like multiple test images into this uh, mounted directory then the camera module is going to pick up a random image from the directory and sending that one for like every 10 seconds or something okay so once this is done i think uh, today i'm going to have this as a short stream so once this mount is done then yeah good Then we need to find out like what's the maximum value here.
Okay, why it's not running? Oh, my Visual Studio got stuck. Something is happening. I cannot close this one. Let me kill this. Close. Now open that one. Now open the Visual Studio again. Sometimes this happening like Visual Studio get freeze. Specifically when when I am using this IoT Edge plugin, I'm not sure. Um build and an iot solution deployment dot template dot json come on run docker is running right yeah my docker is running why this one is ticking now it should, it will be running so what it's really doing the plugin is it's injecting all the commands in the terminal sometime i am typing something and uh, without clearing the terminal if i am running the docker build then it's appending all that uh, this file into that uh, existing terminal itself right at least if it is opening a new terminal instead of like appending that one that would be better okay so it's asking as well Now, now what we are going to test is whether the mount directory is working or not. Okay, so missing key target in create option post config mounts. Let's go to the camera. Mm, where it is? Uh, deployment dot template dot JSON. Okay, so here camera module. It says target is missing. What's the target? There is a destination. Okay, missing key target in. Let me Google that. There is no target mentioned here. Is destination is the target? Or just I need to set up the volumes only. I don't know. Uh, oh, the destination doesn't have no missing key target in create option. What's the target? Let me put another data. Or what I'm going to do is uh, put some test images here itself, like probably 10 images. 
at least if it is a mounted volume then okay let let me back up and think about this scenario right if you are testing that in that uh, if you are testing that in the actual hardware device we are not going to mount anything yeah it says invalid mount path data mount must path must be obsolete so instead of like in the hardware device instead of like sending the data i think it's better to add the simulated images in uh, in this module itself or one other thing we can do is like uh, we can quickly run up some azure functions or uh, service so that like it would be pulling the images from cloud directly something like that uh, but let's see we will put that in that uh, in the module directory itself we will pick up some random 10 images and put that in the module directory if this is not working we will go with that route and also we can say we can add the video so that like uh, the video is continuously playing and it's stopping okay it's not working so i'm not going to spend much time on this uh, so the data test out jpg i just renamed this as uh, one and i will remove this stuff i will remove this thing and uh, add some more test images here right so let me go to our downloads we already have the data so i'm going to pick some random images there and uh, copy that for our test uh, stuff okay. so we have this boats data um we have we have the sailboat so let me bring probably like a five sailboat here and there is a way to rename right yeah rename five items so let me do like a format starts at uh, name and in name and index right start set number two rename oh it's just like a add the name so there is a way we can oh like this so i'm just going to name and uh, index rename yeah it renamed to this one oh it has a space as well so there is way for that also so rename not for uh, replace text okay so we have six uh, sailboat going back and we will copy some kayak boat as well we will rename lost uh, then gondola six boats freight probably that one some six boats or something like that. then uh, ferry then cruise ship I just put like this 
something like this okay now i can rename this um rename items format name and index so i'm going to or data something like that or uh, image rename yeah it renamed all the images so what we are going to do is we have a uh, oh i'm going to rename it again starts number at uh, let's put zero so that we can format name and index have a name okay. so we have zero one two three uh there is four five six and all camera data there is no four five six why there is no four five I just want like a, to program easy if it is named correctly then I just like a, create some random number between 0 to 41 or something like that then append that in specific format right so image 4 and uh, image 5 so we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1890 i'm just looking like is any number missing okay so we have at least like 41 images with the different port types here so the camera module what it's going to do is so path.join directory name and uh, data and here image of uh, index something like this okay so now what we need to do is the classify image i pass the index here just for uh, making sure and uh, every five seconds instead of every five seconds i put like every 10 seconds so every 10 seconds we are going to generate the index that's uh, math dot random there is a there is a way right in the sensor app dot js okay so there is a way to run generate a random number here yeah here it is so uh, what we are going to do is get random index from min to max and returning that one with the floor so that it would uh, return integer so here random index of 0 to how many images we have 0 to 41 so let's say 41 so it's getting the random index and uh, classifying the image and that image is constructing the file name reading that file and calling the image classifier url which is nothing but the board classifier another container image and it's getting the data and this data is a json file right so we will we will come to that uh, uh, later so let me run the solution in simulator deployment dot template dot okay so it says unexpected token json in position 4078 where is 4078 is it something messed up here yeah so build and run iod solution in simulator running the docker container now the docker container is built with the test images that's in the data directory and it's going to send the data every 10 seconds so let's see how that looks like right 
Okay, it's asking the password. Okay, so once this is done, what are the other things we need to do? We need to direct the board type and uh, we need to display that in the dashboard. Okay, so now we will wait for 10 seconds so that the set interval time that's triggered and sending the data to uh, image classifier URL. Okay, we got some exception here. So it says like no such file or directory. Open slash app slash data image 32, right? We don't have image, we have image 32. Why it says no such file or directory? Okay, let it be running. We will go and inspect the app data here. Or maybe in the camera docker file, we copy only the test.jpg. Let me copy the data directory as well also. So copy data dot slash. Now if I am running, it should be okay. And also I will just copy that in all Docker file so that uh, I am not missing that in when I am trying to deploy that one or when I am trying to debug the Docker container. So I stop this, I'm going to run back again. Okay, once this is done, I think uh, we would wrap this up. Okay, now we will see for uh, the call it's going on, right? HF device sensor camera will wait for a few seconds then the camera is going to pick up the random image and send the data to board classifier uh, your ah why we have the image 4.jpg right it says no such file or directory and i copy the data also yeah, the work directory is slash app and I'm copying the data. Okay, let me do one thing. When it's running, let's inspect the container. So docker uh, execute, what's the container name? Uh, camera. Yeah. Oh, it just copied in the same directory. Where is app.js? Yeah, it has it. So it should be the data, right? So now if I'm running this in the simulator, it should be copying in the data directory instead of putting everything in the app directory yeah it's my mistake and also i changed the wrong place so let me stop this paste it here paste it here 
and paste it here so building simulate deployment dot template I can test this from my local itself, but uh, anyway, I'm testing this in the Docker container because this is the way it's going to test in uh, the actual device, right? So I'm just making sure because the code wise, we don't have any problem. The only thing is how that one is working in the container, those kind of things. Uh, so that's why like I'm deploying that one in the container every time. Okay, the HHub device started, dashboard started. In few minutes, it would be kicking in and call the boat classifier. Hopefully this time we don't have any errors. I assume, let's see. Okay, so the camera error processing image. Why it's getting 500 server error? We didn't get that error before, right? It means it we get the 500 exception error from the board classifier. That looks weird. So that means this one is successfully read and it's posting the image it's posting the image to the uh, board classifier url and in the board classifier we are getting the 500 error it says error processing image so let me go to that uh, board classifier app.py yeah we are getting the exception here so let me check the logs uh, docker logs boot classifier yeah we are getting 500 error there follow that so how to how to understand like why this is getting error or what exception it is so let me instead of like a exception let let's put the exception here also So now if I am trying to stop and run this, we should be getting, otherwise probably we just like a deploy that in the, we test that in uh, our Docker container of uh, board classifier first to uh, understand why that is throwing exception. Oh, it's coming here. Ah, crap. So, um, Docker template dot JSON. Once this is done, I think today I'm pretty much done with my stream. We will continue tomorrow on uh, this one. Let's see why we 
at least like uh, we will see what exception we are getting from this thing let me look the images also yeah the image looks good this one we have already used right wait so something with this python library so what it's really doing is uh, image data image dot open predict image so either it's the sending data it's like uh, corrupted or the predict image somewhere it's throwing error here right how to enable the logs also And we change some of the code here where we have changed yeah we change this to 224 because at the time only whenever we tested the test image it worked right not only the test image some random image we have sent um so let's see Okay, so here dashboard sensor boot classifier we get uh, 500 okay so it says uh, cannot identify image file so something corrupted on how we are sending the data right so in the app.js it says cannot identify image file that means in the app dot by here so image data request dot files of image data and else it's trying to buffered io implementation using an in memory bytes buffer so it's throwing error only when it's trying to uh, io dot bytes io right so let's see okay let's go back and uh, app dot js here let me put index as zero because that's our test image maybe it's something doing with this json true okay let me do this so this is our test image right so what i am going to do is stop this one build and run it so it's always going to send the test image only if this one is working then some problem with the image or otherwise the json true that's bringing some issue on sending that uh, data json true would be sending only like the past output it would not be sending the data or the body stream right let's see if this is throwing error then we would remove this json true and we will parse a json value here just put like json dot parse here hey thank you for following uh, spider hunter 03 thanks for coming and watching uh, i really appreciate the follow thank you
okay now the iot edge hub device solution that's got started now let's see the camera module if this one is throwing error then uh, we had some issues with the json true only because we are sending this body as a binary data we just like read some random image data and sending that to our board classifier uh, module so let's see here yeah this also it's throwing error like i cannot identify image file so some issue with the json true only um okay now i'm going to remove this and start running this one okay welcome in yeah thanks uh spider yeah spider hunter 03 thank you thank you and what are you doing uh i'm doing like uh, this iot edge solution and in my day job i'm working on similar stuff node.js and javascript so uh, what are you working on and uh, what are the different uh, things you are learning right now so just share about that it's uh, it's really good to talk with you okay so now the iot edge solution that's got started sensor board classifier okay this is what we are trying to look at right if you are like i am currently working on a c-sharp discord twitch facebook twitter all in one bot on my free time that's cool so you are connecting everything together like uh, all the cool social platforms at work I am a mainly server side developer in mainly C sharp. Good. Um, so, oh, that's like a unified bot that's connecting with uh, all platforms, right? So, how how does that work? Uh, uh, your bot framework is it going to connect in like all the channels or all the message channels that's coming in like uh, in your UI, something like that? help me to understand there okay so i think that's a problem the json true we removed the json true that started uh, sending the data uh, okay so that's cool now what we need to do here is i think the chat is coming delay so instead of like looking there i'm continuously talking here so once your chat message receives then probably i will talk back my question is uh, okay if you didn't understand my question i am trying to understand what you are doing in the bot uh, okay so i haven't worked out all the parts of it yet cool that's cool um uh, i'm really looking forward to see how that's uh, going to look like okay now the prediction is making now what we need to do is we need to go through the predictions uh, list and uh, pick up the tag name which has a uh, high probability so here uh, it's 99.9 .9 percentage so what we are going to do is we just to parse the body here where result we have about a five second delay between me typing and you seeing it yeah add like another five seconds delay i'm using two monitors here and uh, the chat notification it's not coming at least i need to figure out the way how i can at least hear some sound or uh, sound notification when the chat coming right so i'm just like looking like this <laughs> uh, so here what i am going to do is json.parse of uh, rest.body 
so this would be containing the result right now we have the predictions that's a result dot predictions so if predictions is uh, greater than zero i need to get the max so uh, or i can use lodash to find out the max that's right right yeah let me do that uh, so in the camera module do you need the lodash for this one i just i'm going to iterate that and uh, figure out like uh, the latest uh, uh, the high probability so the high probability or uh, uh, high max probability so the max score let me call that as score score so the max score then what i am going to do is i am going to iterate the prediction so i less than equal to predictions dot so the max score so if max score less than uh, or equal to predictions of probability then the max okay so if if it is less than the probability then the max score is prediction dot probability right and also i need to get the tag name so tag name equal to empty string here and tag name is predictions of i sorry predictions of i here predictions of i here predictions of i dot tag name so what it's going to do is it's going to iterate all the prediction and picking up uh, the maximum probability so here in the case uh, if it is gondola then it is 99.8 percentage so that's what uh, we are trying to implement here so once this is done then uh, i'm going to put console.log to make sure we have done correctly um, so console.log max score and uh, tag name okay so let me stop this and run it again so this is the idea we are trying to build up so once this uh once this iot edge solution runs this is going to be a hey michael jolly um uh, can't stick around but wanted to drop in and say hello thanks thanks for coming and uh, watching i really appreciate that have a great stream thanks uh mike i saw your last stream when i'm like uh, wandering around the disney i just say uh, hi from me and my daughter at the time i was like uh, waiting for uh, haunted mansion to go i just like uh, in the waiting time i looked your stream and uh, that stream was great thank you okay so it's stopping and running that uh, the platform again we wait do anyone know like uh, how i can okay this is what happened i am opening the twitch dashboard and i am having another monitor here if anyone is following i am getting the notification uh, at least like the audio notification from the stream elements right so i can see like uh, hey thanks for coming and follow so i am welcoming the following person but if any chat coming then i am not seeing any notification so i just want to look like both monitors often yeah hunter mentioned is like a, yeah it's it's really scary uh, last time when i went uh, my daughter slept so i didn't uh, look like any scary thing but uh, this time she is also getting scary and uh, 
that's like a that makes me like oh i want to <laughs> i don't want to go to content mansion again until like she is growing up i was like really uh, scared on those things okay so mm-hmm. now uh, the different modules it's sending the data between these things okay the camera module it's uh, predicting the score and the type of the boats so we are uh, sending like a different boat types here so if you go to the boat classifier not the boat classifier in the camera data so we are sending uh, randomly sending one of these images and that image is predicted by the uh, boat classifier and we are getting the data back in the camera module like uh, 97 percentage this is kayak or uh, or like uh, some other uh, boat type so that's what uh, we are doing um, right now okay so i think uh, this is uh, good uh, now we need to see how we can wire this up with the yeah i keep the chat just to left and keep eyeing it others pull it near their camera so they see it as they look to the camera yeah that's that's great some people like uh, they put uh, chat in uh, i see like some people they put the chat uh, notification using some uh, pigeon or some other uh, notification window here so i see like whenever the notification is coming it's popping up in uh, top right corner probably i need to look up at, uh, that option as well so that uh, i would not miss any chat when that is coming okay so this is our dashboard application we are building using azure iot edge so every three seconds our sensor module it's sending the simulated data including temperature pressure humidity and wind every three seconds it's sending the data and that's that is immediately reflecting in this react application so this react application we are going to display that in uh, raspberry pi seven inch monitor there so um, that would be cool now what we need to do is once a camera module is like sending the data every 10 seconds or uh, something like that then we need to show some uh, some notification here or uh, something here like uh, okay this is the type of boat that's crossing my viewing point right so something like that uh, we need to integrate um so we are getting that data also let me see that is uh... okay so these things uh we have done today um yeah let's look at that uh, one probably like uh, tomorrow and we get this camera module data as well or one thing i think that would be pretty quick to integrate in the deployment.template.json we need to add the route so camera to uh, dashboard similarly like how we are sending sensor data to dashboard we are going to send the camera data to dashboard here so i'm copying pasting here from messages modules sensor module instead of that camera module and output and i am getting that one to um, camera input here so what it's doing is uh, it's sending the data from camera to dashboard so for that in the app.js we need to uh, emit the data similar to the sensor data here so in the sensor data what we are doing is we are sending the output event by copying the message here right so similar thing we need to do from the camera module so in the camera module once this is classified once we get the max score and tag name um we can send that as well here so let me do json data here max score and next thing is a tag name 
so if i am sending both value to the dashboard then i can and also uh, yeah this is fine so um, we are considering that into the iot message and we are sending the output event like a camera here and i don't need this one and sending the message so what it's really going to do is once it's classified that uh, the random test image we are constructing that to the new message type and sending the output event to the client uh, so this is just like emitting so it, this camera module doesn't aware of like any other modules thinking about like a containerized application what we are deploying it in the iot devices so this camera module it doesn't worry about like any other uh, modules here so it doesn't worry about like uh, whether dashboard module is available or sensor module is available it's just emitting the data so everything going to work in uh, event messaging pattern so we are just emitting the data here and uh, the routing is happening using these routes so the camera to dashboard now all the events coming from the camera that is sending us input event for the dashboard module so in the dashboard module in the app.js client on input message we already emitting that one if it is a sensor input yeah that is how i started doing my architecture the eventing architecture great so you are uh, listening for events from different channels or uh, different platforms and sending that one cool i really do like uh, i really like this eventing uh, pattern because i'm using a lot for uh, my projects um, so one of the project is uh, this iot edge uh, learning project right so here we are having like a different containers not at all knowing each other and we are bringing everything together and uh, trying to module that and a couple of uh, year before i have worked on uh, this idea micro uh, micro application idea um, so we have like a we have a single mobile application so that mobile application have like a multiple small application so you, that is like a unified application so every team they can work on like a, some simple small application and they are bringing all the application together to the uh, main application the mobile application then uh, the main application is uh, facilitating the communication between the future i listen for the message from discord and then i send that messages to all modules and you, that can handle messages from anyone yeah that's cool um once again i i have the i have one link uh, it's called micro features i really i really forget what that's going to be. yeah yeah look at this guidelines so i look at this guidelines for uh, um, building a uh, application the xcode uh, the ios application so look at this one they have like a good documentation how to do that and uh, how to build the micro ui micro testing micro core so they have like a different uh, uh, different type of communication patterns that's happening between the application and all it's not only for the ios application but if you have uh, read this one you can apply this one uh, wherever you are using this micro feature concept mm -hmm. i shared that uh, github to you yeah they are keep on updating this one uh, i think uh, i know that guy he's a ios developer um pp one second if i am trying to i am trying to find him in my twitter ah
that that really helps uh, me like uh, at least uh, on couple of projects i worked on to design that in the micro features way where we are bringing out too many things so yeah this is a guy i am talking about okay now back to our uh, dashboard application here so we already handling this sensor input now what we need to do is we need to handle our uh, camera input as well right so that camera input is coming from this deployment.template.json so once a camera input is coming then i am doing the same thing here camera input so i am emitting that one in the websocket server and in my client application app.js uh, here uh, whenever there is a camera input is coming sorry camera input then i need to get the data and send the message just now i put like some alert data dot uh, what's a what's a tag name i think we are sending the tag name right app dot this tag name so i'm just going to put some uh, uh, alert there then we will just like uh, implement some uh, nice ui so if i am running this one once it's uh, once it's identified the boat type it should be sending the data to dashboard and the dashboard should be sending the data to the client application and the alert should be shown like what type of boat it is So since we change the uh, uh, client thing, it's doing a uh, optimized production build, including uh, including like uh, rebuilding this uh, React application. So that's what happening in this uh, Docker. I need to set up the discord also um, I think I have login for the discord at least I need to set up uh, like a channel for this uh, streaming so that like a uh, we can communicate offline and uh, uh, also sharing like uh, these kind of interesting projects and ideas so that we can help each other and uh, learn together okay so Docker is built. Let me run. Opening my dashboard here. Let's give a few seconds. Okay, the network is starting. Let's see. Okay, so dashboard started connecting. and uh, once the sensor data starts sending data that's should be reflecting in the dashboard now if camera started detecting any random boat image and the type of that boat image we should be getting the alert here this alert is coming 
not coming hmm. okay let me look at this um oh we got some error client is not defined so in our camera module app.js here client is not defined because the client is uh, up to here only okay let me add that in a parameter and classify image let me add that also here yeah now it should be working iot reg simulator deployment okay so it's building this docker we'll wait let me run the dashboard again here and this should be waiting for sensor data yeah the sensor data starts sending the data now the camera should be triggering come on hey we got the freight boat so some boat is like crossing that viewpoint right let's wait for like another 10 seconds i think once that is done then probably we should showing some nice ui here ferry boat is crossing okay another 10 seconds we'll wait ferry boat is crossing hey this is amazing I was like really cool how these modules everything together uh, working together and sending messages between each containers that was great and I am really eager to see how this is working in uh, the actual hardware device and also I am trying to connect that uh, uh, the camera and everything so uh, the couple of uh, remaining things I need to explore in the IoT Edge is how we can uh, do that the application inside stuff and how we can do the remote deployment on the device remote deployment in the sense like uh, okay i deployed this one on the actual real device right then i see uh, there is some changes in uh, some modules then there should be a way we can update the module from remote uh without going like physically to the device and changing the code or running the pulling the code to run so once that is uh, done i think uh, great uh, it was a great uh, thing to learn and uh, nice to see if it is uh, working right so the couple of action items uh, for next stream i just put that in uh, here so the couple of action items for the next stream is uh, application insights then deployment of uh, edge modules great so these two things probably we would see in uh, tomorrow's stream and we would uh, um, improve this ui a little bit so instead of showing some alert we should be showing some uh, nice ui down here to show the alert or something okay i think it should that also should be easy react uh, uh, I'm not using materialui.com, so I'm using this material UI. Is there any alert component here? Layout component demos. Yeah, they have app bar. This is the app bar. Batches. I don't need the batches. Dialogues okay so it's going to uh no i don't need the dialogues uh, i need like some uh alert snack bars kind of stuff yeah this is what i'm looking 
so i should be getting something like this bottom center bottom left top left top right yeah you put like something like this um so let me quickly see whether i can do that okay so they have this snack bar message id content props and handle click open open means true here okay great um and the messages and the anchor origin they have vertical top center okay something like this um so let me copy this one going to our uh, dashboard here uh not the dashboard uh client app.js here so instead of sending the alert it should be setting the state something like that so that it should be showing the snack bar so the snack bar that should be imported from uh, material ui core snack bar so i will add that also and the vertical horizontal it should be top and uh, center open is uh, what's that open it's a boolean thing right open to uh, let's say alert something on close handle close what they are doing on the handle close they are setting the state back okay so let me do this handle close they are setting some state back here and we just like uh, put alert there right alert false okay so the message id this should be um how to i just this this should be the tag name right so tag name and so we have top center uh i'm just looking more i don't want to edit this um so what is that uh, snack bar classes name icon button okay so oh, we have the snack bar content also so we can expand this snack bar um so the tag name here on top center i don't want right now this one so we have alert handle close and uh, tag name tag name that should be coming from the state so this dot state dot tag name or i can put directly the tag name anything is fine i usually put like this so that uh, i have something going on here so tag name empty and alert false so tag name and uh, alert okay so whenever uh, camera input is coming we should be showing uh, alert alert true and the tag name is uh, tag name is data dot tag name so once it set the data then it's uh, it's showing this snack bar with the message yeah so i think that looks okay let me run this in the docker container oh i need to stop this um run this in the docker container today i look for like uh, the copyright music in the twitch stream right so i am just uh, playing that from the youtube so i just say like uh, no copyright music 
and the title says no copyright music and that music was like really good the songs everything is good right but the first uh, comment i saw that in the youtube is they are lying right it's not the copyright music and uh, uh, some guy used that in uh, his stream or uh, youtube video then uh, he got the copyright notice so it was really thing the one thing i didn't use uh, the pretzel is like it's uh, spamming my chat it's keep on sending the message either i need to look for buying the pretzel uh, premium or uh, or any other or like a custom made itunes uh, list something like this i need to build i need to build some no copyright music to play this in the background okay now the docker everything is built let's see how that looks in our dashboard so instead of looking the alert we should be getting uh, some snack bar oh it's still running the old now it's stopping the container wait so once this is done then i have a um, idea for uh, building the iot application for my daughter so i am just going to build a fruit fairy application something like that so um, so the same concept what we are uh, doing here i'm going to upload like a list of fruits and uh, train that using the custom mission and exporting that model into the iot hub uh, uh, iot edge solution so the thing is uh, so the idea is here like this right so i'm going to have my raspberry pi with my camera and it also having motion sensor so whenever my daughter or me i just like a uh, wave at that pi then the pi will be getting activated and uh, scanning me or uh, my daughter then what the practice is so whenever i am before i am going to eat the fruit i'm just going to show that to the fruit fairy the pi application going to detect that and see like what type of fruit i am eating and it's uh, tracking that data in the cloud and also it's going to show some uh, uh, at least like gamify the experience like okay you eat uh, five fruits in a row uh, something like that something like that or like uh, you eat uh, this much apples in this month you need to attain the target like you need to at least eat uh, 30 apples in a month so something like that uh, i'm thinking of uh, probably i would be doing that one in this uh, stream itself hey we got we got i really like this one so you did you see the the snack bar so that means like a, a kayak boat that is crossed the view point now the cruise boat is cross a view point but why the close is not working oh there is no close button really um snack bar on close handle close right all right all right i need like some uh, time out uh, snack bar uh, messages now the freight boat got crossed hey this this looks like a really interesting um so now the remaining thing is like uh, i need to improve this ui think about like uh, give some thoughts about this uh, user experience how it's going to look in the raspberry pi and uh, build the complete solution so the remaining thing we need to do is uh, how the log application insights work and also like storage so if i need to save something like a sql lite or sql so we can store uh, if i need to store some data in uh, uh, this iot edge solution then we can use this uh, either sqlite or sql as one of the module there and uh, the next thing i need to look like a deployment of edge modules so that's what uh, i am planning to 
implement in our next tree okay so today i'm uh, pretty much done so thanks for uh, coming who uh, come spider hunter 03 the M michael jolly so thanks for coming and watching uh, and thanks for uh, chatting with me that really uh, means to me and uh, let's uh, learn this iot 8 solution together on our uh, next stream i think i'm going to stream on uh, tomorrow probably it should be a short stream um, so tomorrow we would be improving this dashboard ui and uh, go through our next uh, steps on this iot 8 solution till then uh, thanks guys uh, thanks for coming and uh, thanks for watching whoever watching this video later thanks uh, if you get opportunity to uh, see this stream come follow me and uh, we will have a good time together on learning this iot solutions thank you